Not long ago I did a video where I showed you how to install the Epic Game Store along with the good old games or GOG Game Store as well as EA and many more. And while those are methods that are very much involved and can take some time and if you're not doing things specifically to the T, it can get very confusing and very frustrating. Now there's another method you can do which allows you to utilize the GOG as well as Epic Game Store launchers combined in a package that works the best for the Steam Deck. It has a couple caveats, but it's probably the easiest way to get going. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Heroic Games Launcher on your Steam Deck, and I'm going to be installing it on my wife's Steam Deck and showing you how to do it in a few easy steps. So let's go ahead and get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of loser party we are not alike all right so i got my wife's steam deck here and i'm going to be installing the heroic games launcher on her steam deck getting her set up with the bulk of my game library since whatever i buy we end up sharing ultimately now this is going to be a process that it's not that involved it's actually fairly simple you can do it in a few easy steps so we're going to show you how to do all that more in this video before we do all that if you enjoy the content i make from steam deck tutorials game reviews tech reviews podcasts with the game and tech industry celebrities content creators and so much more then make sure you like the video sub to the channel if you haven't already and ding the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that we put out. If you want to support the content we do, then head on over to patreon.com slash Mikhail Casanova or become a channel member today. And it gives you early and exclusive access to content that I put out behind the scenes and input on upcoming content. And also we got merch over on Teespring and TeePublic. So all that being said, not the way. Let's go ahead and get into putting a Heroic Launcher on your Steam Deck. Okay, so we're at the home screen of my wife's Steam Deck, and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Power, and I'm going to go to Switch to Desktop. Okay, so now that we're at the desktop, the first thing we're going to want to do is go here to Discover, and then we're going to type in in the search and you'll see it right here heroic games launcher so you're going to click on that and you're going to go ahead and install it and then once it finishes installing and that's when the fun begins all right so we can close this out and we can go over here go to games scroll down and you'll see it right here heroic launcher and then once i boot this up it's going to ask me to you know you can pick your language and then you're going to log in with your you know your account so i'm going to go ahead and do my login for both gog and epic games it'll pull up the website and I'm just going to sign in. However your sign in is, I just have a sign in with Epic Games. And then I will go ahead and enter my information. Okay, as you can see, I am now logged in to Epic Game Store, which... You can see my login name is over here. And now that we're logged in here, we're gonna go ahead and log into the GOG store. So we're gonna go back to login, click login over here, and then we're gonna enter our credentials for GOG.
Okay, so now I'm logged into both my GOG and my Epic Game Store, and I can just click here and go to library. And literally everything that I have on GOG as well as Epic Game Store is now available for me to download and install on my Steam Deck. Now, you have various views. You've got your standard grid view. You can do, you know, if you prefer a, uh, a list view, you can do that. If you want to alphabetize or, you know, really however you want to do it. I usually leave it like this as a grid view and just by default. Now it gives you the option with the library section to go to either Epic Games, which is what it's going to default to, or go to GOG. So you can see all the different games I have in GOG as well as what I have in Epic Games. Now, what we're gonna do from this point on is we're going to install some of the games that I have and let you see them running on the Steam Deck. And it's really simple. So when you select something, so say we want to install something from Epic Games, then the main thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna find something, let's see, um, Salt and Sanctuary. So we'll go ahead and install it. Uh, this is the information page that you will come up. It will tell you the download size and the install size. Before we do any of the installation, I kind of want to do one other thing and show you guys, like we can go over to settings. You can change where you're going to have this installing. If you want to have your games installing on the SD card, as opposed to the internal drive, you can change that right here. And you can also make sure it syncs with, you know, Epic Games if you have them installed. That's uh, uh, as far as that right there. So let's go back over to the library. And what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Salt and Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and install it. So you're just going to go ahead and click install. And then you're going to get this right here. It's going to tell you the install path, wine prefix, and which wine version. So what I found to work is to more often than not leave it on uh, Proton Experimental. And if that doesn't work, then make sure you have GE Proton 19 or 20. A lot of times those will work. So let's go ahead we're going to install it. And then it's going to take a little time to do the installation. As you'll see, it gives you the ETA of how long it'll take. This is about, what, 587 megabytes. So it's already installed. And what we're going to do since we installed that, we're going to go back to the library. So one other thing I want to mention is if you need additional protons that are not available, then make sure you also have proton up QT installed. That way you can get additional uh, protons. That way you have uh, better chances of reliably running a lot of the games that you have. So like right now I've got 19 and 20 installed on hers uh, for the sake of, uh, you know, just adding the latest one, which is uh, GE Proton 724 at the time of this recording. I'm going to go ahead and install that just in case something doesn't want to run. And then, um, you know, you just run it. That way I've got my bases covered. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to go and open up Steam and then we're going to want to click add a game, add a non Steam game. And then what we're going to do is go over and find heroic launcher, which is right here. And then we're going to add the selected program and it should pop up within Steam. So we just need to go search for it. And it should pop up under H. So right here. So here it is. Um, and what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and mark it as a favorite. And then from here, we're just going to go back to return to game mode. Okay. Now that we're back at the sign in screen, we're going to go over to my wife's account and go ahead and log in. And then once everything is done logging back in, we can go and go to our library. And then we can go over to favorites. So here, Heroic Games Launcher, you're going to click it. 
So as far as compatibility, you might be wondering, do you need to have the compatibility force when you want to run Heroic Games Launcher? No, just go ahead and click play and you should be fine. Oh, it should load up. You're going to see this since you've already loaded in and, you know, and set up your accounts, everything will be accessible here. You can actually use, you know, either your Steam Deck, you know, controls, or you can use your controller and just start going through. So I've got a couple games installed. And uh, what I want to do, let's say we want to run um, Foregone. So we're going to go click play. It's going to say, I have no wine version selected. And it says, check game settings. Make sure you have a mouse ready just in case, because there's going to be some things you're going to need the mouse for. So we're going to click here. We clicked on the cog and then I'm going to click wine version and I'm going to click just because I like to, to utilize it. I'm just going to say GE Proton 719 and then um, from there, we're going to go back and then we're going to try and run the game. And as you can see, that worked. So now we're loading into the game. And it's going to map all your controls. So everything is going to work with your controller or the Steam Deck itself. And we just go to new game or whichever. I just want to get into the game to show you guys it running. All right, so we're in the game. Controls work perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. And so if I want to go back to uh, where I was on the heroic launcher, just go to exit and then boom, I'm right back here. Now, if I want to go and say I want to play Salt and Sanctuary, uh, same thing. You're going to want to select one of the protons. And then once you select that, just go ahead and click play and just give it a second to do what it needs to do and it'll go from there. So now we're loading into Salt and Sanctuary. Yeah, it looks like the Renegade logo from the original Renegade game. I know it's so random, but you know. Anyway, here we are. Salt and Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and press A. New game. And then we're just going, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and then I'm going to hop into the game and uh, I'll show you guys it run. Okay, so now we're in Salt and Sanctuary. Game works fine. No issues with the controls whatsoever. Everything is working. Of course, it looks dark because this is, you know, the beginning part is a dark section of the game. And yeah, so with that being said, let's kind of how this works. Now, if you do run into any issues as far as like games, you know, working properly, or if there's like any type of glitches, just change out whatever Proton you're using. Try to use, you know, a higher GE Proton. Like if 19 doesn't work or 20 doesn't work, go up from there. Just experiment. This is really something you're going to need to tinker with in order to get it to work properly for you. But that's literally all you need to do, and it's a much simpler method than trying to install the individual launchers themselves. And this gets you up and going and playing your games. And with that being said, that is the installation tutorial for setting up Aurora Games Launcher on your Steam Deck. Now, I, hopefully this is a better method for a lot of you guys. I know trying to get the Epic Game Store launcher, the GOG launcher, the EA Origin launcher, and a lot of other launchers installed has been a very complicated process. But if this in any way helps you, then make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you really found this helpful in any way, or if you enjoyed the video or the content I put out, make sure you like this video and sub to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I put out, including more Steam Deck tutorials, reviews, game reviews, tech reviews, 
podcasts and so much more. And uh, if you want to pick up any Steam Deck accessories, I'll leave links for them down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to support the content further, head on over to patreon.com slash Miguel Casanova, as well as checking us out here on YouTube with YouTube channel memberships. And also pick up some merch on Teespring or Public. Links for everything is going to be down in the description below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give my wife back her Steam Deck since I set up the Heroic Game launcher and now she can dive into a bunch of games so all that being said i hope you guys have a great one i'll see you in the next one stay safe stay with aloha and uh have a blessed rest of your day peace Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around